Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the technical department. Today I'll be showing you how to construct a rhombus when given the diagonal length and also the length of any one side. I will now go ahead and draw my diagonal. My diagonal today will be 11 centimeters or 110 millimeters and the length of the given side is 7 centimeters or 70 millimeters. I will now outline my diagonal for clarity sake, 110 millimeters. The next step is to open your compass to a radius which is 70 millimeters. I will now put my compass at A, at A and C. And when the compass is placed at A and C, we will scribe intersecting arcs above the diagonal AC and below the diagonal AC from points A and C. These intersecting arcs will give me point B and the upper one will give me point D. I will now draw a line from A to B, B to C and C to D, also A to D, to give me my required rhombus. I will now outline my required rhombus. I will now measure the length of the size of the rhombus. All the sides of the rhombus measured 70 millimeters. Now, what is similar to a rhombus and a square is that a square consists of all equal sides in length. This is also true for this rhombus. All sides have the same length. However, the difference between the two, the square and the rhombus, is that the internal angles are different. 
not 90 degree. So a square, the internal angles are 90 degree. But for the rhombus, the internal angles are not at 90 degree. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.